and he wouldn't stop crying, man. And I started to buck. I didn't know what the hell to do, so I called the only person I know who's been in this mess before. John, put him down and get the hell out of the room. <laughs> Close the door behind you. Okay? Now break open a bottle. No, not for him, for you. <laughs> so now you appreciate all my hard work to raise you, huh? Papi, you're so lucky you have me as a father. Yeah, because I was never my father's favorite. No, and I was an only child. <laughs> my father was afraid of his father. I was afraid of him. And, you know, I wanted the same for you. But today's days, kids just talk back to you before you even get a chance to say anything. That's why you have to kick ass from the start. Otherwise, they'll wreck your life, take your dreams, ruin your peace. Oh, Jesus Christ, Johnny, I hated you. I loved you and wanted to kill you, you son of a bitch. I love you. Call me anytime. Bye. My father, the king of mixed signals, going through his male menopause. And it was 7 o'clock and Boogie and Teeny hadn't come back yet. And I was afraid I was going to have to put little man to sleep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> oh man, what am I afraid of? There's a little angel in there somewhere. I just got to give him roots and wings, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> ah! Shh! Ah! Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay, little man. Ah! All right, all right, how about if I tell you a little bedtime story, huh? Ah! Okay, you little sucker. All right, you're not going to believe this, but back in the day, there was this man who grew up surrounded by all these monsters. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. So he ran from them all his life. But no matter how far he ran, he couldn't escape them. So he realized that he had to tame them. And when he did, he felt he was ready to have two little ones of his own. And he protected them for as long as he could. But then he had to let go. Because it was their turn to tame their monsters. And you will. And you're going to win. Because I love you. Here. Play with your great-grandfather for a little while longer. But I don't want to hear a peep out of you, right? Not one peep. And I close that door. And I hear his first word. Peep.